Hello everybody, welcome back. We are in lesson number 37. In lesson 36, we saw how we can draw a square using a move and the turn block. In this video, we will, go, we will extend that idea and in fact, we will see how we can draw regular polygons with different number of sides. Now, regular polygons are basically closed geometrical shapes with uh, sides that are equal, right? So, we will see how we can draw these. Um, in fact, what we are drawn the square is also a regular polygon of four sides, right? So here we'll see how we can do it for different number of sides. Now, before I get on with the code, I want to just sort of give you some concept about, you know, uh, the angles of this uh, re regular polygons, right? So, you know, let's say we have a triangle, uh, an equilateral triangle, which means these three sides are equal. Notice that this angle is 60 degrees. This is called the interior angle. And then correspondingly, this the exterior angle is 120 degrees, right? For a square, it's 90 and 90. Uh, for a pentagon, it is 108 degrees interior angle and 72 degrees exterior angle. Now, this angle is called the exterior angle. Uh, you don't need to, you know, you will learn this sometime or the other. But the important formula here is that exterior angle is given by 360 divided by n, where n is the number of sides. So, when n was 3, uh, we had exterior angle of 120. So, 360 by 3 is 120. Uh, for square, it was 90 and so on, right? So, so this is what we are going to use. Uh, the strategy we are going to follow is that we will fix the starting point just like we did for the, uh, you know, for the square. Uh, we'll fix the starting point. We'll set the initial direction and then we will make the sprite move for some number of steps. And thereafter, we will make it turn by the external angle, right? Now, uh, the external angle, remember, is basically just 360 divided by N. And thereafter, we will repeat this set of steps some number of times. In fact, the number of times we will repeat this is the number of sides that I want, right? So here, like I said, you know, if we make it move for some number of steps, that determines how long each side is, right? Uh, so this is the idea we'll follow. In fact, this looks a bit complicated, but this is exactly what we have done uh, when we drew the square, right? Remember here, we are making sprite repeat this four times because four is the number of sides. And we are turning it by 90 degrees because 360 by 4 is 90, right? Uh, 200 controls how long uh, this this each side is, right? So let's just try this out, right? So for example, if I want to draw a triangle, then I can say repeat three times. Triangle is three sides. And I can make this 120, right? Now, how did I get 120? That's because 360 divided by 3 is 120, right? So if I did this, my sprite will draw a triangle. Uh, let's say if I did, I want to do a five side, a pentagon. So I say repeat five. Here, I should do 360 divided by 5, which is 72, as I just showed you in the previous illustration. So if I said 72 degrees, I will get a nice pentagon, right? Now, notice that sometimes you will see that your drawing becomes too large. It goes out of the screen. Uh, all I have to do is to reduce this length a little bit. So maybe I can make it, say, 150, right? So I will get a pentagon, right? Now, again, the starting point here is minus 100, 100, like for the square. But if you want, you can have anywhere else, whichever you want. Uh, now we can take this further. Let's say I drew a 10 sided, you know, uh, figure. So I, I'm doing 10 here. So it will be a 10 sided figure, but I want to do 36 degrees because 360 by 10 is 36, right? Now this 150 is too large for it. Uh, if I did this, notice what will happen. This picture doesn't look nice. That's because it goes out of the screen and, and the whole thing goes haywire. So all I have to do is to reduce the length of this, right? So probably something like, let's say 60, uh, we can just try it and then notice the sprite. In fact, I can draw it a little bit bigger as well. So maybe something like say 90 and Sprite draws a nice 10 sided figure, right? Of course, like I said, the starting point can be adjusted and you can get it anywhere on the screen, right? So I hope this gives you an idea of how you can create polygons uh, using the move and the turn blocks, right? Uh, we, uh, take care. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.